hour of smell is dark, your old stock is very healing. A moment of tears. Say something. Thank you, Bert Healy. But still, remember, folks, smile, dog, smile. Folks, look who just walked into our WEAF studio. Why, it's none other than the wealthy industrialist and Wall Street tycoon, Oliver Orbus. Now, Oliver, I am giving you something to tell the folks at home about Annie. <coughs> yes, for good evening, Bert Huey. <laughs> Annie is an 11 year old girl who was left by her parents on the steps of New York's municipal orphanage on the night of December 31st, 1922. And aren't you now conducting a coast to coast nationwide search for Annie's parents? Yes, Bert Huey. I am now conducting a coast to coast nationwide search for from Pain. <laughs> Furthermore, I'm offering a certified check for $50,000 to any persons who can prove they are Annie's parents. Wow! Wow! So, Annie's parents, if you're listening, write the following word on the care of this station, Justice P.A.F. <laughs> At my home, Bert Healy, 987 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. You heard it, folks, that's 987 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the makers of all new Occident toothpaste. With Miracle L64 to fight that breath for letting me appear here this evening and I just did a damn good one. Grace, I've never forced the product of my life. This is an outbreak. Good night, all of the Warbucks. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> so, Andy's parents, if you're listening in, there's $50,000 and a delightful daughter waiting for you. So get in touch right away, you hear? I believe it's time again for the lovely Boylan sisters. Well, I see by your clock on the wall that another one of our Thursday night gets together has gone by faster than you can say.
Uh, 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 uh,